Hi, today's problem is assuming complete dominance, what is the phenotypic ratio of the offspring of the cross uh, one parent that is heterozygous for both genes and another one that is homozygous recessive for both genes. And here is the five answers that you may choose from. If you feel that you know how to solve this problem, I encourage you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, um, I want to start with um, different combinations that is possible when we cross this parent with this one. I would even use uh, excessive number of uh, genotypes possible, so you would know how to solve analogous problems if you would have different combinations of alleles. So, for example, uh, let's assume that this capital A stands for the red color, and this small a stands for the white color. And uh, capital B would stand for the uh, large size or big size. And uh, small b would stand for the small size. So, um, what combinations is possible? For example, we may have uh, capital A, capital A and capital A small a, and both these combinations would produce a red flowered plant. So this is going to be red flowered plant, and when we have a small a, small a, uh, the color of the uh, flowers would be white. And of course when we have a capital B, capital B, and capital B, small b, variants, the size of the uh, plant would be big, and when we have small b, small b, the size of the plant would be small. And uh, let's now uh, solve the second part of our problem. So, um, we have uh, one parent that is heterozygous for both alleles, that is capital A small a and capital B small b and what kind of gametes such parent may produce and as you see this parent is uh, diploid and all the gametes must be haploid so half the number so we have two allelic pairs here so this is one pair and this is second pair let's count how many different combinations we may have here so here can be one combination, so capital A, capital B. Here can be a second combination, capital A, small b. And here can be a third combination, small a, capital B. And here is possible fourth combination, small a, small b. So this is going to be parent 1, that is here. And as for parent 2, as you see, only one combination is possible. Whenever we take this allele or this, this or this, only one combination possible, small a, small b. So we put this variant on the side, small a, small b. This is only one uh, combination possible for the second parent. So we build now Punnett square. So we divide this to four groups possible and here in the first cell we would have uh, capital A small a and capital B small b. Here we would have capital A small a and small b small b. Here we would have small a small a and capital B small b. And in the last cell we would have small a uh, small a and small b, small b. So let's think about uh, phenotypes. So here we would have capital A and small a in this uh, first cell. So this means that the color of the plant would be red. So this is red. And capital B and small b means that this is uh, going to be big. So this is one phenotype. Let's move to the next cell. And we have here capital A, small a. 
and uh, small b small b so that means that uh, color would be red but the size would be small let's move to the next cell and here we would have a small a small a and that means that the color would be white and we have capital B small b that means that uh, this is going to be a uh, big size of the plant and last cell we would have small a small a so the color would be white and uh, size would be small so as you see all these uh, four genotypes would be different and uh, genotypes and phenotypes so as you see this one is different from the uh, phenotype that is next in the first uh, case we have red and big, in the second we have red and small, in the uh, third cell uh, or third uh, combination possible we have white and big and with the last combination that is possible for such a cross we would have uh, white and small. So uh, that means that ratio would be 1 to 1 to one to one so the correct answer would be C thank you for your attention this is all for today please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye